Have you been looking for relief from gas, bloating, or other digestive issues with probiotics? Maybe you have IBS, diagnosed with IBS, or diagnosed with SIBO, also known as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and using probiotics for this. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in my practice, I treat many different digestive issues. In this video, I'm going to share with you one source for, for many digestive issues that people don't think about. Digestive issues like IBS, gas and bloating, and SIBO, also known as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. The source of these uh, issues or worsening of these issues may surprise you. Yes, it is probiotics, but it may not be for the reasons that you think. So before we launch into that, I want to give you a little bit of background. Okay, so many people struggle with this persistent gas and bloating, digestive issues, um, and they seek out to use probiotics to see if they can get some improvement in this. This approach is generally going to be helpful, but oftentimes, or some, in some cases, it can make things worse. Here's why. So probiotics contain commensal or helpful microbes that can improve your overall microbiome by helping to increase the number and diversity of microbes in your intestines, in your uh, large intestine. And generally, this would be a bonus for digestion in general and specifically for gas and bloating. However, many probiotics contain prebiotics, which can cause some people to have worsening of their gas, bloating, and digestive discomfort. This is particularly prevalent in cases where you might have SIBO, uh, as I mentioned before. So I'm not going to get into exactly what SIBO is, but I did want to mention how prebiotics can uh, sort of negatively affect some people, and this is uh, sometimes a good indication that you actually do have SIBO. So, so what are prebiotics? Prebiotics are essentially food for your intestinal bacteria. With SIBO, the good microbes in your large intestine get into the small intestine, and they can consume some of the food that you naturally would be absorbing. The specific types of foods these bugs eat are things that are fermentable. These are the same types of substances that are put in probiotics that make that make up uh, prebiotics. So they put the prebiotics in there to for food for the bacteria, so the bacteria are able to uh, stay alive and be more um, active uh, to have the cultures be active when you consume them. Um, so if you suspect your probiotic is making things worse, check out the label and see if you're see if you have a prebiotic in it. So I'm going to uh, go to a screen share and we're going to look at some examples of what prebiotics are. Okay, so you can see some food sources of prebiotics, and these include a lot of things that are fermentable that you might see on like a high FODMAP um, food list. Um, but here they are uh, now, and you won't find these typically in probiotics um, except for possibly chicory root. Um, now I'm going to show you some screenshots of some other, um, some actual probiotics. So this is the most common one, the fructooligosaccharides. So anytime you see that in your probiotic, you know that you're getting some prebiotic in there. And then sometimes they will uh, change it uh, to look more like <clears throat> uh, some kind of inulin or this is a it's a very specific type of inulin, but uh, these can be found in a lot of different plants. Uh, but, um, you know, inulin, FOS, uh, those are the two most common that you'll see. Um, there are other types out there, but uh, um, not all probiotics have these in them. And, uh, but many of them do. And so that's what you got to look out for uh, when, you know, you think that possibly your probiotic is making things worse. It could be from one of these. So hopefully this video is helpful in understanding how probiotics can be helpful or harmful for gas, bloating, and SIBO. Keep in mind though, uh, this video was focused more on how probiotics can sometimes be negative for some people, and I didn't really explore the positive effects of probiotics and prebiotics. 
I'll be posting more videos on similar and related health issues soon, so if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to be notified when the next video is posted, and we'll see you next time.